After 11 years on the run, an accused child molester is inside an Orange County courthouse right now, about to face a judge. Yeah, he was just sent here for the UK, where he was living a double life. CBS 2's Cara Finstrom live outside the courthouse. She's in Santa Ana with these new details. Cara? Yeah, Sandy, Roger Giese was a fugitive on the FBI's most wanted list, and he reportedly eluded authorities by living that double life in England. Just behind me here inside the Orange County Superior Courthouse, we are told by sheriff deputies he is in a holding area inside waiting to go before a judge. Let's get started with a recent photo of Giese, a Giese rather. He is now 43 and facing 19 counts related to the alleged luring and molestation of a teenage boy 20 years ago. Giese is also looking at a sentencing enhancement that alleges substantial sexual conduct with a child. Investigators think he first befriended the boy's family through a church in 1998 when the boy was 13. They say he coached him in the All-American Boys Chorus and that the alleged abuse continued through 2002. Giese is accused of pretending to be a member of an elite military unit and telling the child he could join by providing samples of bodily fluids. Giese is also accused of fleeing the country back in 2007. That was one day before his trial was set to begin. He was on the run, as we mentioned, for about a decade until detectives found him in 2013. He was living in a small town in the English countryside. The BBC reports he left behind a family here in the U.S. and was working for a PR firm there under a different name while living with a woman who didn't know his true identity. For three years, his attorney successfully fought extradition, but Orange County jail records show that he was booked here on Friday. Now, back here live, uh, Jeff, uh, Sandra, there was a news conference scheduled uh, at the DA's office for about 1130 this morning. We understand that has been postponed, but we do expect to hear from the DA's office at some point today. More information about what led up to uh, him ultimately being found and extradited back here to the U.S.